by the time that an AI model can get gold in the International Math Olympiad, is that just AGI, given the amount of creative problem solving and chain of thought required to do that? I, to be honest, have no idea what people mean when they use the word AGI. Yeah. I think if you ask 10 different people like what they mean by it, you're going to get 10 slightly different answers. And it seems like what people want to get at is a discrete change that I don't think actually exists, where you've got, okay, AI is up to a certain point, they're not AGI. They might be really smart, but it's not AGI. And then after some point, that's the benchmark when like now they're, now it's generally intelligent. The reason that world model doesn't really fit is it feels a lot more continuous where, you know, GPT-4 feels general in the sense that you have one training algorithm that applies to a very, very large set of different kinds of tasks that someone might want to be able to do. And that's cool. That's like an invention that people in the 60s might not have expected to be true for um, the nature of how artificial intelligence can be programmed. So it's it's generally intelligent, but maybe what people mean by, oh, it's not AGI is you've got certain benchmarks where, you know, it's better than most people at some things, but it's not better at most people than others. You know, at this point, it's better than most people at math. You know, it's yeah. better than most people at solving AMC problems and like IMO problems. It's just not better than the best. And so maybe at the point when it's getting gold in the IMO, that's a sign that, okay, it's it's as good as the best. And we've ticked off another domain, but I don't know, like is what you mean by AGI that you've, you've enumerated all the possible domains that something could be good at, and now it's better than humans at all of them? Or I enough that it could take over substantial fractions of, you know, human jobs or something. Where right now it's it, it's it's impressive, but it's not going to be even one percent of GDP. But in my mind, if it's getting gold in IMO, I mean, having seen some of those problems yeah. uh, from your channel, I'm I'm thinking, wow, that's that's really coming after podcasters and <laughs> video animators. I don't know. I don't know. That feels orthogonal because getting a gold in the IMO feels a lot more like being really really good at Go or chess. Like those those feel analogous. Well, it's it's super creative. Like I think anyone who I don't I don't know chess as well as the people who are into it, but everything that I hear from them. The sort of moves that are made and choices have all of the air of creativity. Um, I think as soon as they started generating artwork, then everyone else could appreciate, oh, there's there's something that deserves to be called creative here. And the creative side of the math, you know, I'm, I don't know how it would look when people get them to be um, getting golds at the IMO, but I imagine it's something that looks a little bit like how AlphaGo is trained, where you have it like play with itself a whole bunch. You know, math lends itself to synthetic data in ways that a lot of other domains don't, mm -hmm. you could have it produce a lot of proofs in a proof checking mm -hmm. language like lean, for example, and just train on a whole bunch of those. And like, yeah. is this a valid proof? Is this not a valid proof? And then counterbalance that with English written versions of something. And so I imagine what it looks like once you get something that is solving these IMO level things, one of, one of two things, either it writes a, a very good proof that you feel like is unmotivated because anyone who reads math papers has this feeling that there are there are two types. There's the ones where you morally understand why the result should be true. And then there's the ones where you're like, I can follow the steps. Why would you have come up with that? I don't know, but I guess that shows that the result is true. And you, you're left wanting something a little bit more. Yeah. And so you could imagine if it produces that on the gold to get a gold in the IMO, is that the same kind of ability as re what is required to replace jobs? Just like not really like the, the, the impediments between where it is now and replacing jobs feels like a whole different set of things, like having a context window that is longer than, you know, some small things such that you can make connections over long periods of time and build relationships and understand where someone's coming from. And the actual problem solving part of it, I mean, it, it's a sign that it would be a, a more helpful tool, but in the same way that like Mathematica can help you solve math problems much more effectively. Mm -hmm. And tell me why I should be less amazed by it or maybe put it in a different context. But the reason I would be very impressed is that with chess or something, obviously this is not all the chess programs are doing, but there's a level of tree search you can do to narrow down the possibilities. And more importantly, the in the math example, it seems that with some of the examples you've illustrated on your channel, for example, the ability to solve the problem is so dependent on coming up with the right abstraction to think about it, coming up with ways of thinking about the problem that are not evident in the problem itself or in any other problem, mm -hmm. uh, in any other test. That seems different from uh, just a chess game where you don't have to like, well, what is the largest structure of this chess game in the same way as you do with the IMO problem? I think you should ask people 
who know a lot about Go and chess, and I'd be curious to hear their opinions on it because I imagine what they would say is, if you're going to be as good at Go as AlphaGo is, you're also not doing tree search, at least exclusively. It's not dependent on something as growth in that because you get this combinatorial explosion, which is why people thought that game would be so much harder for so much longer. There sort of has to be something like a higher level structure in their understanding. And then don't get me wrong. I would be super impressed and like <laughs> anticipate being very impressed when you get um, AIs that can solve these IMO problems uh, because you're absolutely right. There's a level of creativity involved. The only claim I'm making is that being able to do that feels distinct from the impediments between, I don't know, where we are now and the AIs take over all of our jobs or something. It just, it seems like it's going to be another one of those boxes that's it's this ho- historic moment analogous to chess and go more so than that it's going to be analogous to the industrial revolution. I'm, I'm surprised you, you wouldn't be more compelled. I am uh, or, compelled. Right. It's or just you, you don't think that skill of he, this problem is isomorphic to this completely different way of thinking about what's happening in the situation. And here's me going through the 50 steps to put all that together into this one proof. I, I'm surprised you don't think that's uh, that upstream of a lot of valuable tasks. I think it's a similar level of how impressed I was with um, the uh, stable diffusion type stuff where, you know, you ask it, give me a landscape of beautiful mountains, but made out of like quartz and gemstones or something. And it gives you this thing which has all of the essence of a landscape, but it's not literally a landscape. And so you realize, okay, there's something, something beyond the literal that's understood here I'm like that's very impressive and in the same way to solve one of these math problems that requires creativity you can't just go from the definitions you're 100 percent right you need this element of lateral thinking which is why we find so much joy in finding the solutions ourselves or even just seeing other people get those solutions it's exactly the kind of joy that you get out of um, good artistic analogies and comparisons um, and mixing and matching i'm very impressed by all of that it's just i think it's in the same category and it's Maybe I, I don't have the same opinions as a lot of other people with this hard line between there's pre-AGI and post-AGI. Like, I just don't know what they mean by the word AGI. And I don't think that you're going to have something that's this measurable, discrete step, much less that um, a math tournament is going to be an example of what that discrete step would look like. 